Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Picture in Picture on Mac OS Sierra to watch video in a small window as the name suggests in a Picture in Picture window. Now before I get started I'm just going to tell you something. If you've used Picture in Picture on an iPad running iOS 9 then this is very similar to that so that's just something to bear in mind so the ways you can actually use Picture in Picture on the Mac is uh, very similar to that. So to demo, I'm going to go into Safari. I've got a window, uh, a page here open on Apple's website, and it's just a, a tutorial for Final Cut Pro 10. And this is a video just playing here. I, I just got the got it paused at the moment. But if a website has got this uh, feature enabled, the picture in picture feature uh, set up, then when you see a video on the website, in the bottom right of the player over here you'll see this picture-in-picture picture icon. Now, for those of you who actually used it on iOS, this icon will look very familiar. It's the picture-in-picture picture icon. And if I just play the video, that will just keep playing. If I click on that icon, it will pop out into a picture-in-picture picture, uh, mode, and I'll just pause it. I've turned volume off just for video demonstration purposes, but I could turn the volume up and it will just play like a normal video. The difference is it's not actually within this Safari window. So what I can do is I can minimize this Safari window and the video will keep on playing. So as you can see it's playing at the moment. And as I said it works on top of what you're doing. So if I open System Preferences, as you can see this video is playing on top of System Preferences. So what I'm doing doesn't obstruct the video. So it's kind of all, always there and ready for you to be using. So as you can see down here, I've used them a couple of times now, there are the media controls, so it's just got simple play and pause. Obviously if you want to change the volume, unlike on iOS, uh, you can just use the volume we'll add the key items. on your Mac. So that's um, obviously there. And at the top, in the top left, you've got uh, an X to exit the picture in picture mode. Now I'm going to show you the sort of customization options you get. Let me just pause the video. And for some reason it's going black, I don't know why, so I might just keep it going. But if I move it around, I can actually drag it to any of the four corners on the screen. So I am limited to four corners, so I can't just drag it in the middle. It just snaps to a corner. But I can put it in any of the four corners that I want. So that's definitely a nice feature to have. So if you're working on something in one corner of the screen and you need to move it across, then you can do it like that. I can resize the actual picture in picture, so if I just grab a corner and just uh, resize it, to, uh, you know, I'm limited, but I can just resize it, let me just pause the video, it looks like it's ended. So I can do that, I can just um, move it open and, you know, make it smaller as well, if I want to. And then I can obviously move it to another corner if I want to. So, finally I'm just going to show you how I can go back, so I can go back by clicking the the icon next to the play button that just hops it back into the uh, main page that I got it from in case in this case the Apple website now if a video site doesn't support it then you can still use picture in picture in some cases as I'm going to show you now so YouTube doesn't officially support it because if I look in the YouTube player there is no actual picture in picture button but you can actually do it if I right or secondary click once it gets to the YouTube uh, controls if I secondary click again I get to the Apple Safari controls so if I go down you'll see there's enter picture in picture if I do that I get the same picture in picture so I can minimize Safari and I can actually just play the video as I did before so I can play it and then I can resize it as usual drag it to any of the four corners that I want and I've got my picture in picture playing and if I want to I can play and pause it I can expand it and snap it back to the YouTube page or I can just hit the X and get out of the picture in picture and then I can go back into Safari and continue playing it. So that is a nice feature to have in macOS Sierra. I know I've been using it quite a lot since I've started using uh, macOS Sierra and I'm sure many of you will like it. So that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments leave them down in the video comment section or you can get in contact with me using the details in the description of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also do be sure to subscribe to see more videos on macOS Sierra and iOS 10. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.